Hello, I'm Gary Rebholtz, and I'm proud to introduce Vegas Pro 16. Over the past two years, we've made significant changes to Vegas Pro, and with version 16, we implement some of the features that you've told us that are most important to you. For example, with Vegas Pro 16, you have more powerful video stabilization. We'll be watching for your creative work, and as always, listening for your feedback. Thank you, and good luck in all of your video editing projects. What's happening guys, my name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new Vegas 16 tutorial and in this video guys, I'm gonna cover another new feature that Vegas Pro 16 has and that is the new stabilization tool. Now if you wanna have your clip look from this to this, that's gonna be really easy in Vegas Pro 16, so make sure to smash the like button down below already, subscribe if you're new, and I would say I'll catch you guys right after the intro. So now that we are in Vegas Pro 16, as you can see right now, this is just a clip of a car chase and I'm going to also leave the link in the description to this clip if you guys want to do the same or you can just basically do this on any clip. So as you can see, this is what the clip looks like right now. And we're going to make some significant changes to this clip by just using this new stabilization tool that Vegas Pro 16 now contains. So what we're going to do is usually you would go to the video effects tab and then as you can see drag on the, um, the stabilization tool but it's not really working that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the tools button at the top. We're going to pick video and we're going to select the media effects one. Then as you can see this box pops up and right here you want to scroll all the way to the right until you see video stabilization. So you want to click on add, click on OK and then this menu pops up and this is also just like the automatic motion tracking. This is also new and right here we have the motion track quality. You want to keep that one on accurate. The motion compensation, you want to put that one to translation. And if we click on analyze motion, it's going to analyze the entire shakiness of the clip. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on analyze motion. And right now it's going to take, you know, just like maybe three seconds. And now it analyzed that. And now we can go ahead and, you know, click on the correction tab and the motion blur. And now if you play it back, as you can see, we have like kind of black bars going all around. So you want to make sure that you will check this one, avoid black borders like that. So if you play it back, it reduces it just a little bit. So we, we just need to go ahead and zoom in a little bit until those black bars are not visible anymore like that, as you can see. But if you go ahead and play it back, if you go frame by frame, as you can see right here, there are a, there are a few frames that still have that. So you just want to go ahead and add in a little bit of a zoom just until they're gone. And if you move on it, you know, frame by frame, you want to make sure that all the black bars are actually removed. So if you go ahead and as you can see, do that, if we play it back, this is what it looks like. And that is a huge difference. This video was shot like really shaky, you know, probably on the back of another car that was driving in front of this car. And that was just a lot of shakiness. And that's a really great thing that Vegas Pro 16 has now uh, has this feature. And this works on any footage, guys. So let's say that you're, for example, sitting in a car and, you know, the, the footage is really shaky. You can just apply this one and then you can just go ahead and analyze the motion and then, you know, mess around with the zoom. And I think the thing is that you have to zoom in quite a bit because if we go ahead and zoom out all the way as you can see like the original video if you play it back we have all kinds of you know black bars going all around so in order to hide these you just want to zoom in just a little bit like that and if we play it back this is the end result guys just zoom in just a little bit more this is the end result and that is how amazing it is this is how we use the new stabilization tool so that is how to do it so that's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for the continued support. I will catch you guys on Monday with a brand new week of fake 16 tutorials. Thank you for the support. Make sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new, and follow me on Instagram. It is at Alex Halford. I know that's a lot, but that really supports the channel. So I'll see you guys obviously next week. <laughs>